minute. They're not emboldened by the fact that this president is not 100% there. Mm. They know people hear about hearings and depositions, but they don't feel like there's any accountability. Absolutely. Congressman Fulcher, I want to shift to the impeachment inquiry as well, which is something that a lot of people in this room, I suspect, they're watching closely. Yesterday, James Biden was on Capitol Hill, as you know, testifying. We expect Hunter Biden next week. Uh, like a lot of these issues, people hear about hearings and depositions, but they don't feel like there's any accountability. Will there be accountability of the Biden family? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the, uh, the House did move forward, as you know, with the, with the very narrow margin vote in, uh, in impeachment for uh, uh, Mayor, Secretary Mayor Orkins. And I don't think any of us have illusions that that's likely not to, uh, to pass through the Senate. But every minute, every hour, this gets debated. This gets shown on the public stage. It raises the, the awareness of what is really going on here and the fact that U.S. law is being disregarded. And on a related note, because, of course, Biden is, is right, right behind that, um, with what Scott pointed out and the, the international problems we've got with Russia and Iran, don't think for a minute they're not emboldened by the fact that this president is not 100 percent there. Hmm. They know that he is not uh, at, at full mental capacity, and as a function of that, they are uh, prosecuting their efforts as a result. And uh, uh, so, the so is that why Iran is doing this? That, that, that's, that's why China that might move into that Taiwan. That has emboldened them. That has emboldened uh, China. You notice that uh, Putin didn't cross uh, over and, and move into Ukraine with uh, Donald Trump as president. So uh, that's a factor in all this, too. But the impeachment, even though it may not fully come to bear, the awareness and what gets prosecuted in front of the world, the American people, is, uh, is good. Go ahead, Congressman. Let me weigh in on this. The Biden, minute, the Biden family is stymieing us as much as possible, thwarting us at every effort. You can understand that, right? They don't want to be found out what they're doing. You can see all the information that you've already seen. The evidence is pretty clear, right? You don't just make millions of dollars with nothing to sell, so on and so forth. What's frustrating beyond all get out is that, that the agencies, like the FBI, the Department of Justice, the IRS, are also reluctant or unwilling to give us the information so that we can either prove that the president is not selling the United States out for personal gain or that he is. Now, I don't think that we're going to get to a point, quite honestly, where we're going to be able to impeach him, especially with the, with the thin margin that we have. But we're going to continue right up until the end of the term to bring this information out and to inform the American people. If Joe Biden wants to run for office again, have him explain this to the people that he wants to vote for. It. So, the so is that why Iran is doing this? That, that, is that why China that might move into that Taiwan? We weigh in on this. The Biden, the Biden family is stymieing us as much as you know, testifying. We expect Hunter Biden next week. Uh, like a lot of these issues... Will there be accountability of the Biden family? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the uh, the them, that is emboldened uh, China. You notice that uh, Putin didn't cross uh, over and, and move.